Okay, I am back with another Ben's haul. Um, and completely unprepared. I don't remember how many pounds I got. I don't know how many pieces. Um, suffice it to say, I pay $1.89 per pound. And I will just go ahead and start with um, what is in the thumbnail. So, yes, this beautiful wool coat from Kate Spade new with tags and this thing retailed at $548 a size medium so cute scalloping on the front this cute little velvet bow on the back um this is actually given to me by somebody at the bin so I can't say I found it uh this woman was trying this jacket on I wasn't really thinking much of it she asked me my opinion of it and then asked me to take a picture of her on her phone so she could see the fit of it she decided she didn't like it um if she's obviously just shopping for herself and then said this is a new with tags Kate Spade coat do you want it and I was like yeah that's so generous thank you so much so it was an amazing, amazing take home for that day. Um, completely generous woman and um, I am so thankful for it. So yeah, I think this is probably uh, my find of the day. <laughs> uh, I semi did the comps on this. I haven't done my full research on it, but I think I should be able to sell this for around $300 new with tags. So yeah, incredible. Next up are these men's um, 501 button fly black jeans new with tags and these are 42 by 32 these aren't the premium they have the paper uh tag on the back and that looks like they only retail for about 60 dollars so i'm thinking i'll probably list these for around 30 dollars and then another new with tags item this is columbia women's size medium um looks like this retailed either $45 or $35 and this is the sunshine bound short sleeve shirt and this is linen and you know shockingly no marks on it so yeah that's a good find next is this mod cloth kind of um, peasant style dress with these very dramatic bell sleeves this very soft yellow color and it has the high waist this is a 3x and I have only found plus size mod cloth a handful of times but it's always sold relatively fast for me so I was very excited to find this this beautiful dress is by uh Trina Turk size 4 uh Trina Turk is a designer but I would say unless you find very colorful pieces like this it might not move very fast if at all which is a hard lesson I've had to learn um so yeah I picked this up it's kind of like a tunic length dress very cute colorful pattern on it the only issue is when I know that I noticed at home was one of the little cute beaded or crocheted um bobbles fell off so I'm just gonna have to note that or at least take this one off to match it and then note it I might just let the buyer do that but I don't expect to get very much for this even if it was in um a flawless condition this is an interesting um I guess cardigan jacket from Vineyard Vines extra small it is fleece kind of a structured open front I almost kind of want to call it a blazer it's like very structured but it's fleece cardigan and it's got this like knit striped lining on the inside so I thought that was perfect for fall next up is this Ted Baker men's button up and it has this micro blue floral short sleeve and that is a size four so that is like a vanity sizing I think this might be a large or an extra large probably a large this one is a new one to me um I still need to lock in my uh, comps on it and sell through rate but I think when I did that at the bins initially it was good enough for me to want to pick up these are um scrub pants similar kind of feel to figs if you've ever found those 
which is why I stopped and grabbed them. But this is from Metalita. I don't know. Size medium. I can't exactly remember what they're comping for, but probably between like $15 to $20. So I wanted to grab them and try them out. That's just fuzz. Next up is this J. Crew men's utility jacket. Um, these utility type jackets from J. Crew, certain styles are very, very sought after and can go for a good amount, like pushing 100. I'm not quite sure on the exact style of this one, but I decided to grab it. This has a roll away hood and it has all the cool pockets and drawstring. This is a extra small and typically with these jackets um the how recent it is doesn't really play into it too much as long as it's a certain style um this is an older one this is from uh 2017 i don't know if you'll be able to read that but 2017 I would say the only thing that's going to work against me on this jacket is a size since an extra small, which isn't um, typically a great men's size, but I still wanted to pick it up because like I said, these jackets do have a following. I found two pairs of these 511 Tactical pants. I've shown these before. These, depending on size, a condition, and color, it can go anywhere between like 25 to 35. Um, these ones are a little wash one as you can see so i'm thinking i'm gonna list these around probably around 20 to 25. this super cute rolling stones t-shirt long sleeve and it's got the detailed on the side of the sleeve sleeves is by dream or daydream daydreamer oh my god daydreamer there are a couple brands out there like dream catcher things like that Specifically, Daydreamer is um, carried by free people and they, I think, exclusively do band t-shirts. Some of them on the resale market can go for a lot, like $50, $60, $70 dollars sometimes, depending on the style and size. This one, it's a size small and this doesn't seem to be a um, hugely sought after one. I'm thinking I'm going to list it for around $30. So again, the what the self or the comps that I'm talking about is specifically for Daydreamer, not Dreamcatcher or Dreamers. There's a couple dream brands out there. Daydreamers is the one with the band tees that I would look up. If I were you. This is a pair of kind of like the athletic e nylon material pants, men's pants from J. Lindenberg, which is the logo right there. This brand is pretty expensive. Um, it can do well for certain pieces resale wise. Just so you guys see it's in the front of the tag right there. These are the Slim Fit 3834. So I have to do my research on this style, but as like a blanket statement, Jay Lindenberg, I would absolutely comp it and check your sell through rate for the item that you have because this brand can do very, very well. These really cute Chico's linen blend pants, cargo linen blend pants, have these rhinestone appliques on the pockets, and I checked it over and it looked like they were all there yeah still looks good to me so I grabbed those these are a size 0 0.5 which I believe is probably a four with their size chart they do vanity sizing I don't typically grab um skinny jeans from Levi's anymore these are the premium though these are the curvy skinny size 34 which is an amazing size so these are high rise kind of wash black skinny jeans with distressing frayed hem which is why i grabbed them mainly because of the size and the fact that they're levi's premium these cute little leggings are from ibiba and here is their logo um ibiba is the kids lululemon line 
So there is the tag, size 10. I won't get much for these, but I do like to grab this when I find it because I think it moves pretty fast. This is just Aster the label, and this is a size medium. I don't have any solid reason why I picked this up. I don't think it's gonna move fast or sell for much. I just liked it. And sometimes you just have to buy things you like. <laughs> this is just a cute little fancy romper. It's got some lace trim detail, long sleeve, kind of that surplus wrap front with the snap. So um, I'm not telling you to go run out and get this. Some of their pieces do have an amazing sell through rate and um, like comp prices. But this, I'm going to list it for around $20. Okay, this is an older style Lululemon jacket. So it's just like a zip hoodie. And it's got, you know, their typical little thumb hole, things like that. But it's got a roll away hood in the neck. And I know that it's an older piece because the size dot does not have any... Let me see if I can find it. The size dot does not have any um, of the style name or the style number around it. It's just the size. So this is a size six. I will have to uh, do a quick little search on this to get the style name. But I thought it was still cute. I really like the rollaway hood. Really excited to find these. This is kind of like a, a canvas pant. Has almost like a balloon tapered leg to them. And this is by the brand Everlane, size six. I looked up the comps on these, really good. Um, for life of me, I cannot remember the name. Something utility. But yes, I especially this color, this camel tan is super, super trendy. So yeah, I was super excited to find these. These are some Madewell shorts, like a tangerine, light sherbet tangerine, a thick canvasy type denim size 28. Why did I grab these? Are they newer? I don't think they're newer. They're from 2019. So should I have grabbed them in the middle of fall? Probably not. Will I hold on to them until next summer? Probably. This is just a cute little peasant boho top from Knox Rose, size medium. Anything, I would say medium up, moves semi-fast, sells between $15 to $20, even though it's Target. So if you can get it at the bins, this is an absolute pickup for me. These are some vintage wide leg lounge pants from Lululemon. There is no size dot. It's missing its drawstring. But other than that, there's no stains on them. They're in a really, really great condition. And I will just have to measure them to get the size and see if I can't research these a bit more to see or to find a style name. But yeah, I liked these. Bryn Walker is a great lag and look or art to wear brand. They do make majority of, I would say, linen pieces, which is typical of lag and look brands. But this is a size medium. And this size is always underneath their brand tag. These are just some pull-on velvet pants and a nice aubergine purple eggplant color. This is a really comfy looking Bowden sweatshirt, size extra large. It's kind of like a terry knit, yellow and white striped hoodie. Really cute, great size. This is a really nice, uh, Mac Weldon kind of raglan sleeve. I don't want to say t-shirt because it's thicker than t-shirt, but it's not quite thin or thick enough to be a sweatshirt. It's like a soft, almost terry knit jersey. But yeah, size large. It's a really good brand. Really nice looking shirt. Another pair of shorts. I don't know why I picked these up. These are American Apparel. I think because like nostalgia for me for American Apparel, every time I find it, if it's in decent or good condition, I want to grab it. This is like the epitome of cool when I was in my 20s, so early 20s. American Apparel. These are really cute, high rise, cuffed, washed shorts. Really like the wash on these. So you know, will I sit on them until summer? Probably. Will they sell for a whole lot? 
Probably not, but they will sell. All my American Apparel sells. So it's not just me feeling nostalgic. And these are a 30, which is a great size. Some more lounge pants. These are like a heathered blue wide leg. This is from Wilfred Free, which is Aritzia. Extra, extra small. And here are some actual fig scrubs. There is a little logo right there. These are a size extra small, I think. Yeah, extra small blue, and they've got the jogger leg on there. Some lint. So this is a great scrub, bra scrub brand to pick up. The sell-through rate is still really good. Last time I checked, so yes. Love this color of blue. These are some 7 8 length leggings from Athleta. Great size, and these are still new. So not with new tags, but newer styles. So these are a size 2X. These are the Salutation Stash Pocket 2 7 8 tight. And they are from spring 2022, so not even a year old. And if you're ever curious with Athleta, if you go to the internal tags, the very last tag has the style number, which is the top one. And then it says the season or year that it came out. So that is spring 2022. This is a kind of like a spring yellow green linen button front shirt. And it's kind of got this like three, two, three, two spacing of the buttons. And this is like another kind of lag and look brand from Fridays, which they make majority linen. And this is 100% linen size small. I love finding Toad & Co. Especially when it's a good size, size large. This is like a tunic dress, long sleeve, button front, cute little pockets there. And it has this really cool, I don't know if it's going to be hard to pick up, but like a, almost like a tiered effect with the way the stitching is there on the back as well. These are denim form and that is from Aritzia. I love picking up recent Aritzia pieces. So this is their denim line. These are some high rise, although they say they're mid rise, but these suckers are, that's not mid rise, <laughs> that is a high rise. So these are the Nico mid-rise skinny jeans. But like I said, that's, I wonder what their high rise looks like. Cause that's like 11 inches, which is high rise. Anyways, some mild distressing frayed hem and some styles of denim forum can sell for well over $50. So this is a really good brand to keep an eye out for. This is just REI co-op little boys kind of quick dry cargo short. Nothing too special, medium 10, 12. This is probably like a $15 sell. Here is some older style, cool women's capris, long shorts. You can tell, I think they've completely moved away with this for their women's items, but their logo used to be a heart when it was women's. I don't, they don't do that anymore, at least with the recent pieces. But these are kind of cool. So I've got this flower pattern on the back. And these are the Mountain Culture. Size 10. Another great Everlane piece. Size 10. Perfect camel fall color. Pull on kind of like a lightweight chino. So very excited to find these. Great color. Great style. Great size. Okay, I know I'm constantly picking up ASOS, even though it's probably not the fastest to mover, but when I find pieces like this, I want to pick it up. A little bit quirky. This is kind of like a textured white, tiered ruffle dress with the tie sleeves, and this is from the ASOS design. Plus, it is a US 14, so great size. I love selling this brand, DL 1961. This is another brand to keep an eye out for and check the comps of the style that you have. Some styles perform much better than others. I would say this is going to be a $20 to $30 sell since they're skinny and it's just not in quite as in demand as straight or wide leg. These are the Amanda and plus they're white, which is just, you know, 
once again, kind of missing the mark on season there. And size 29. Another Aritzia brand is, um, let me see if I can show you, Babaton. This is an extra small linen button up. I like selling Babaton. This looks like a newer tag to me, so I will see. Another brand that I like selling from them is Community. And I probably would not have grabbed this because it's just so plain and basic, this linen shirt. But I had a Community shirt that was linen that had a very high demand and a lot, a lot of attention and it sold for a pretty good amount. So I grabbed this thinking maybe it would have the same appeal. We will see. This is a men's All Saint, which is their logo if you've um, never seen it. Like a skull of some, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is just like a brown, green toned cotton hoodie. And that is size medium. These cute little tangerine sherbet orange sweatpants from Athleta Girl. And they've got this cute little embroidery right there. It says, I've got this. <laughs> this is a girl's size extra large or 14. And they're in just super, super soft, great condition. This is only my second time ever finding uh, Show Me Your Moo Moo. And I think in a couple hauls ago, I had a brand new with tags, Show Me Your Moo Moo bridesmaid dress. This is a bridesmaid's dress as well. But this is a 1X, which is a great size. This one is not new with tags, but it's in really, really great condition. A nice rose color maxi length. Kind of these beautiful flutter sleeves. Super excited to find that. I love the style of this kind of button front shirt. I kind of want to call it a vest, but it's, it's a shirt. From Free People, extra small. It's a nice washed gray color, some frayed trim right there. I just really like the style of it. And this is a linen blend. Let's see if I can find the tag. Yeah, 55% linen, 45 or 60. Wait, I can't do math. 50, wait, 55% <laughs> linen, 45% cotton. I couldn't read the numbers, but there you go. This is like, you know, free people nowadays unless it's a very sought after piece, which I will say I've come across a few, so you definitely still want to comp and try to find style names. But um, most pieces are gonna go s hover around the $20 mark. Case in point about free people, I found this dress. It's kind of got this cool macrame side cut out piece. This is just the hanging strap right there. It's a halter. And on the ties, it's got these little puka shells for the neck and let's see where are they for the sides right here it didn't look like it was too special to me but I did end up finding the style name on this it was coconut something coconuts something and this dress does very well um this is an extra small so I might price it lower than um, everybody else just based on that. But the comps on this dress, I wish I could remember the exact style name, something coconuts. Um, I want to say between 60 to $80. So yeah, definitely look up style name on Free People when you find it, if you have the time, because some unassuming pieces are just sought after. This is just a bra from, let's see if I can get the tag the right way, Kashyyyk, which is from Lane Bryant. I grabbed this. It was just in really great condition, and it's just a beautiful printed bra. This is a um, 44H. So, yeah, it was just in really, really, really great condition, and it's beautiful, and these bras tend to do pretty well. Next up is Halogen, which isn't a brand I typically seek out but I know I've featured it a few times on my hauls. This is cashmere, which I absolutely will grab for sure. So this is just like a nice rust orange, 100% cashmere sweater, size medium. These do so well if you can get them in good condition. This was Pilly. I just took the five minutes to shave it 
and I will list this for around somewhere between $30 to $40. This next one, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet. It is J. Crew uh, Extra Extra Large, so great size, newer J. Crew. This is just like a very oversized turtleneck sweater. I don't know if you can tell. It's not pilly. Let's see if I can get like the side of it. But you see how fuzzy it is? I don't think it's meant to be fuzzy like that. I will have to look up the style name and see. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's meant to be fuzzy. I think this is like what happens right before it starts pilling up. So if this is just not in a sellable condition. Oh, it is a little pilly right there. I'll have to shave it. Um, the, the fabric shavers do not work well with fuzz. It works well when it's actually pilled up, but the fuzz, it doesn't, you know, I'm not going to spend five hours shaving this. So long story short, I'm going to keep this probably if it is just not in a sellable condition. And I know it's oversized to begin with, so this might be too oversized on me. I'm thinking that I could do that cute, you know, Instagram cool girl thing where you tuck the end of the sweater up to your bra to kind of crop it a little bit with some uh, mom jeans. Like I said, it might be a little too oversized for that, but either way, I'll list it or I'll keep it. I would still grab it. All right, that was the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble. Until next time, happy thrifting. Bye.